Okay, guys, today for your homework, you have a quizzes for Mr. C on two-way tables. You're going to be seeing some different two-way tables on the quizzes that you, some of them are completed and some are not. So we're going to start with the ones that aren't completed and go through them and just review how to complete a two-way table. Remember, when you're looking at a two-way table, I'm going to switch on my thing. Remember, you've got a total column over here and you've got a row at the bottom that are totals. Okay, so when you start with that, your totals, 42 plus 30 adds up to 72, and 31 plus 41 adds up to 72. So those numbers have to match up there. We're only missing one value here. And remember, as we go down, you're gonna add the, th add the items to get the total, just like we do in math, right? To get a total, we add. So let's look here, we have 13. What number added to 13 gives you 30? So the only value that's missing here is 17. Okay, so we are just going to go in and fill in those tables, okay? So another one is going to ask about people who have cell phones and MP3 players. This is kind of old, an MP3 player was what you had years ago before your cell phone had the apps on it to play music. Okay, so this is an old one. But let's look here, we can fill in the missing information. Once again, we've got a total column, we've got a total row. So let's add up the stuff that's here. Oops, and I instead of, okay, I'm gonna leave that. I forgot I was to switch to my laser. Okay, so I add up 57 and 13, and I get 70 here, okay? I have now, I can add, because since we're doing adding, we've got two values here we can add. I've got 13 and, oh, that's terrible. 13 and nine adds up to 22. Now I can add my 78 and 22 and get 100. Okay, you've got 100 there. So now I can find out my total value down here. I've got what number added to 70 gives me 100. Grab your calculators and use your calculators, guys. 70 plus 30 gives me 100. That's a terrible looking 30. Okay, sorry about that. Now, I've only got one spot left to fill in. And I need to know what number can I add to nine to get 30. Use your calculators, you're gonna get 21. So there's our second table filled in. Don't worry about my messy handwriting, I'm gonna show you something at the end of the screencastify. Okay, so let's move on to the last incomplete table. Okay, this one has three columns, but it still has the same things. Here is your, why isn't it not working now? It doesn't want to work. Oh, it'll only write on there. There is my total column here. There is my total, my total row at the bottom. So let's see what I can fill in. Well, this is easy. I've got 47 plus some number is going to give me 80. Get out your calculators, guys. 80 minus 47 gives you what? 33. Oh, that's a terrible, that's a 33 anyway. Okay. So now we've got that 33 filled in there. Um, we could fill in this missing value now. We know that these two numbers added up together will be subtracted from 80 to find this missing value. So let's add those. 21 plus 33 gives me 54. Subtract 54 from 80 and we get 26. Okay, that's better. Okay, so now I have, I can find this missing value, the number of boys who are taking biology. I'm missing an add end, so I'm going to subtract because adding and subtracting go together. 26 minus 18, leaves me with eight. Oh, that's a little better. Okay, so let's go back over here. We've also got two values here. We can subtract 19 from 33 and find out that there are 14 females in physics. Now we have to do a little two-steppers. In order to find out what's missing here, we can either take 47 and subtract 14 and then subtract 18 or we can add 18 and 14 together and subtract that value from 20, 47. Either way, when you do it, you're gonna get 15, okay? And when we do the same thing here, I'm gonna add eight 
and 19, I get 27 and I have to subtract that from 33, so I get six. Now, remember, all my values are gonna add up. 47 plus 33 is 80. 26 plus 21 plus 33 is also 80. These values, as you add them up and add across, all make true number statements, okay? So you're gonna go through and you're gonna answer these questions. You've got a bunch of different questions. I did it this way because they are so mixed up. Every time you use a quizzes, it mixes the questions up for you. But at the end of this quizzes, some of these are filled in. Remember to use the read to me tool. Um, at the end of this quizzes, or at the end of the Jamboard, I'm going to be sharing with you along with this Screencastify, I apologize. Here are the tables that we just filled in. So as you're doing your quizzes, if you need to just copy these down or pull this up on another tab and leave it open so you've got the values for the work we've done, that'll make the quizzes much easier to do for you. Okay, if you have any questions, reach out to one of us. Have a great weekend, guys. Enjoy the sunshine tomorrow. It's going to be a little cool, but it's going to look like it's a nice day. I've got snow blowing past my window right now, but I'm going to try to take advantage of it. Miss you. See you soon. Let me know if you need me. Bye.